What's up guys, welcome back again, I'm your boy with this Adam's Link Media, welcome back to another crazy video, I hope you guys are doing okay, please don't forget to like this video, comment, share it on all social media platforms, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Adam's Link Media, make sure you subscribe, and click that bell notification so that you can get updates anytime I upload. So guys, uh, let us discuss about some major trending issues, and of course, some gist. Well, we already know the number one trending issue in Nigeria, that is SARS. In fact, I don't want to talk about that in this video. Number one worldwide trending issue in the whole world, most especially Nigeria, is SARS and SARS. Well, I don't want to talk about that. So, guys, I want to ask this question. I know it might sound somehow insultive to some of you, but I just want to ask it anyway. Is it true that some women, ladies, love to be abused, physically abused by their husband or boyfriend in the sense that they have every opportunity to leave that marriage, that union, that relationship, but they refuse to leave. And yet that man, that guy is physically abusing them every day and yet they don't want to leave. Is it love or because they just love being abused? While I'm bringing it out this topic is because of the controversy uh, surrounding actress, Nollywood actress Chacha Ike our brothers and our husband so this is generally what is happening chacha ek a few uh, days ago announced that she want to end the union with her husband she she already announced that she has ended the union with her husband mm -hmm. then a few days later she came out to say she was admitted and that her husband never physically abused her then again, she came out to say she had she has bipolar. Again, the same church IK brothers and sisters came out saying that no, this woman needs help. Our sister needs help. Basically, they are saying that her husband is physically and emotionally abusing this woman every day. And they are trying to assist their sister to get out of that marriage. But their sister still want to continue with the marriage. Well, let's listen to what Chacha Ike has to say. My name is Chacha Ike Fanny and I love my life. As you can see from this video, I am pregnant. And as has been peculiar with my former pregnancies, every time I'm pregnant, something in me just erupts. These things that erupt within me have just a few days ago finally gotten the diagnosis of being bipolar disorder. It makes me do crazy things, think crazily, and act crazily. Over the years, I have suffered episodes and I didn't know what they were, where they came from, these feelings that always made me feel different from the inside for years. On the 3rd of October, I had yet another episode that drove me out of my house. I, was, I found myself racing to Zenith Bank to withdraw money to do welcome back of my phone lines that I had destroyed myself. It was as my husband tried to stop me on her way to Zenith Bank, that I realized that that was even a Saturday. When that failed, still acutely manifesting from bipolar disorder, I found my way to Southgate Hotel, where Nollywood people usually be camp and make departures from. Prior to that day, I didn't know I had bipolar, but my husband did. He did because two weeks before the 12th of October, I had had yet another serious episode that landed me at the hospital, still First Delta American Hospital. It was so bad, I regret most of the actions that came with that episode. But my hospital didn't tell me that it was bipolar when I was discharged. Dr. Isiomo Okoba, the doctor and the owner, of First Delta American Hospital, they had told my husband 
on that visit that your wife is bipolar. But my husband was finding the better time to bring the news to me when another relapse happened. And it happened this time because he tried to get me to take my meds, to take my medications. And like I said, I didn't know that I was really a bipolar um, victim, a bipolar patient, I meant to say. I didn't know, but I took out my anger on him when he said, did you take your drugs? And growing up, I didn't used to like to take drugs. I still don't. But look at all the drugs that they gave me from the visit to the hospital two weeks ago. Albumet, this is for pregnancy, they said. Olazepam, sulfate, folic acid, B complex, and haloperidol. I started flushing this down the toilet instead of taking them. Three days I didn't take them and it resulted in the embarrass embarrassing display that I displayed in front of Southgate. My husband said take your drugs, but I got angry with him like how dare you try to swim it like those doctors and nurses that are ill and mentally ill. That was his only crime. I flipped it on him like an enemy and I heard myself saying crazy things like I'm leaving my husband. I, I would not leave my husband. I would never leave my husband and my children and my home. My family, having a home, being Mrs. Fanny, and being mother to the beautiful children God has given me is too much blessings to take for granted. And so I say this to other, I say this to as many as are out there that care about me as a person and care about my brand as such I find that. I didn't leave my home. I am not leaving. Seeing that I'm living with my life in the video you saw on 12 October is one out of the many crazy things that I say and that many bipolar disorder patients say when facing episodes or crime. Well, uh, that was his, she said, so I think everybody should rest now. But her brother is saying that she's lying, that she doesn't have bipolar. And that she's uh, that her husband is manipulating her, all those kind of stuff. But the fact is, the woman don't come aside. The woman said she has bipolar, and her husband is not abusing her. So why is her brother still eating, eating it, and some fans still see things that the man is abusing her? So I, I think uh, this woman has said it also. Everybody should go and sit down and relax because he's, she said. She, she has bipolar and her husband is not beating her. So, meanwhile, one of the person that is enjoying her marriage currently that has to do with Regina Daniels. Honestly, that lady really made the best choice. In fact, her mother made the best choice for her. To me, despite that man's hold, she celebrated her 20th birthday recently and this man surprised her with so much gift. And one of all those incredible gifts that uh, Ned Woko gave her was a Rolex. Of course, when you see that Rolex, you know it's not a charged play. It's not charged play at all. It's not child play. You can see it. So, guys, like I've said before, despite some of you might see that, might think that uh, it's not good for a young girl, 20 years old, getting married with to a 60 years old man or 60 something years old man that woke up is not appropriate but honestly when it comes to nigeria structure she's an adult so she can do whatever she wants but honestly that guy is really spending a lot of money on her come on man rolex rolex watch original rolex for gold you can see it's not every child's place. So guys, uh, meanwhile, uh, and you know there have been rumors that uh, Chikaike and Nedewoko are getting married. Well, I don't know that if that is actually true or false. Well, uh, we are still looking. Maybe tomorrow you might see a wedding invitation pumping up saying that uh, you are welcome to, we are inviting you to Chika, EK and uh, Nedewoko's wedding. And also, guys, to end this video, uh, it's about a uh, Genevieve versus Governor Wiki. You know about this whole SARS issue. Governor Wiki is the first governor. He's not a very APC governor who are in power. This guy is PDP, 
and the first governor to come out to ban NSAS protests in the state. But after, but after the whole incident, he had a U-turn and uh, of course said that anybody can protest. But uh, this is what, when he actually came out to say that nobody should protest in the state, this is what she said. She said, the river state government hereby wish to inform the general public that all forms of protest have been banned throughout the state. Therefore, all proposed protests under NSAS campaign are hereby prohibited. This is when uh, Genevieve came out. Out. She said, your mustache said it all. You could have choose, choosing to be any kind of leader you wanted. You choose to be a dictator. Do you have children? That is a shame. Leader will be held accountable for every loss of innocent life in their state. But this man, eh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know who advised him to do that kind of thought, to announce that kind of thing. But surprisingly, he actually made a U-turn. He able to join the protesters yesterday, saying that they can protest. After a lot of protocol boys came outside, despite this uh, order. So, guys, uh, I meanwhile, there are still some people who are not talking about this and protest. Oh. Some Nollywood actress, uh, actors, and uh, of course, uh, uh, artists as well. S mainly because they are eating from the government because they have one appointment from APC governor or from APC government so they are not talking at all this they are behaving as if they are politicians well okay so guys I thank you very much for listening thank you for watching this video don't forget to like this video comment share it on all social media platform follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook at Adam Clink Media make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification see you on my next video where I'll be discussing mainly about this SAS issue and the progress so far bye